Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of This Week in Irish History. I'm Dan Murphy, with me as always is Blue and Gold Senior Editor Lou Samoji. Uh, this week we're going to take you back in time 60 years to another matchup with Oklahoma, who Notre Dame has coming up this week. Uh, it was 1953, it was Notre Dame's first trip down to Norman as a football team. Frank Leahy, Bud Wilkinson, and a pretty memorable one, Lou. Yeah, back in 1949, uh, Notre Dame, under Frank Leahy, won its third national title in four years, finished unbeaten, but guess what? Oklahoma was also unbeaten, and Frank Leahy and Bud Wilkinson met for dinner in the offseason and said, Let, let's get this game together. I, I think the whole nation wants to see it. And The first meeting was at Notre Dame in 1952, one of the great classics ever in Notre Dame Stadium. Two Heisman winners, Johnny Latner and Billy Vessels. Notre Dame ended up winning at the end 27-21 on the shot heard around the world. Dan Shannon's hit on a kickoff that set up the winning touchdown. Next year, the opener. Notre Dame's number one, Oklahoma's number four, down in Norman, hot weather, everything. And again, Notre Dame falls behind. In the end, wins it 28-21. The funny story in there, Johnny Latner is injured before the game. And Leahy has reservations about playing him. And Bill Early, the running back's coach, says, you know, you got to play him. Coach, he's an All-American. And on the opening kickoff, Latner bottles the ball and it falls out of bounds at the four-yard line. And all of a sudden, Leahy screams at Early, there's your All-American. Well, at the end of the game, Oklahoma's driving. It looks like it's for the tying touchdown, and out of nowhere, Latner intercepts the pass, and Early goes up to Lay. There's your All-American like that. No one did that to Lay, but at that him. point, you got him. Cool, very cool. Well, that was obviously a big win for Notre Dame, and also a pretty memorable one for Oklahoma. That was the last time they lost in a four-year stretch, one of the most legendary winning streaks in college football history. And uh, that kind of got things started for them, and of course Notre Dame ended that again four years later. Yeah, it's been an amazing series. You know, when I think of um, some of the amazing streaks in Notre Dame history against an opponent, one of them I think of is their, they were 4-0 and against Bear Bryant from 1973 to 80 at Alabama, and those were in fantastic Alabama teams. They were 37-3 and coming into the game and Notre Dame beat them all four times. I think of the 13-game unbeaten streak against USC from 1983 to 95, 12-0-1. Uh, and the other one though is 9-1 against Oklahoma. Uh, you know, and six of those victories were against Sooner teams that were in the top ten. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've talked to people in Oklahoma down there, and that that's kind of sticks with them. Oh yeah, I think Notre Dame is, you know, Notre Dame has so many rivalries in it, but for some reason the Oklahoma folks love a chance to beat Notre Dame, especially even after last year's where Notre Dame kind of came in and pushed them around, around a little bit, and I think held them to 15 rushing yards in that game, and that was one that sort of stuck in their craw and really made the coaching staff and a lot of folks down in Oklahoma rethink about exactly how they want to approach this season. And so far, they've gotten off to a pretty good year down there. Yeah, it, it's going to be a game where, you know, Oklahoma's going to probably come in with a little chip on their shoulder. They have the bye week. They have extra time to prepare. Notre Dame's going to be coming off, you know, three straight tough Big Ten games there on the road against Michigan and Purdue and then back home here against Michigan State. So, you know, some dynamics are in work there. It's a chip that started growing 60 years ago. That's it, the end for this week in Irish history. Join us every week when we take you back in time and look at memorable moments for Notre Dame. That's it for Dan Murphy. This is Lou Samoji. Thanks for joining us.